Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Still. Thank you very much for joining me in today's Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 story mission video thing. I'm basically creating madness in my workshop. We're going to be doing the Del Rey High Road, which looks like a, such a fun vehicle you would take on a camping trip. Okay, actually, this looks this actually is a pretty clean car. I like this. I, I'm not a big fan of the wooden panel stuff, but it's not a bad little motor for you know an older vehicle let's get this in the garage let's see what we can do with it okie dokie so woody here i'm just i think that's what i'm going to name this car because of the wood panel i think you are woody apart from this is fishy that's a fishy license plate <laughs> i've got four pages of parts to go through and the only one i know that is is a leaf spring u-bolt so basically i'm expecting the entire back end to just be falling off by now Drain the drain all the liquids, perform wheel alignment and refill window shield there the wash it. Right, cool. First off then, though oh my god, I've just oh oh <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Alright, okay, cause so we're gonna drain out all the liquids first off. We're gonna perform all our rituals of like finding bits and pieces, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so the first things first, after me faffing about and everything else, the best thing you can do straight away, if you're anything like me, is you want to go through everything. You want to make sure that you can identify as many parts as humanly possible before you take this car apart. Now, obviously, it's got other tasks. You're going to have to re you're gonna do a wheel alignment and refill, but we can't do the wheel alignment until we replace the wheels. Obviously, we need to do more wheels. We need to do the oil as well, but when it comes to this long list of stuff, all of this is going to be inside this car now. It's not going to be the interior. It's not going to be the body panels. It's not going to be anything. It's just everything underneath. So I'm going to strip the back axle down first. We're going to go through all of this. Then we're going to strip down the front axle area, and we're going to take apart the cross member and everything else down there. Then I'm going to buy up all new parts or repair what I've got, depending on what suits the build. At the end of the day, it's whatever I can do with the game and then we're going to work on the engine now i think the engine is where most of the parts that i haven't found are going to be right let's do this take the drive shaft out as well because if we're going to take the gearbox off we're going to have a look So first things first, we have taken off everything off the back of the car that's added to the list, which is good, that's nice, it's basically just everything from the back end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time, I'm going to repair all of these parts first then we're going to see what we actually have to buy. Okay, so that helped a little bit, you know, we haven't been able to repair everything but that's just because you just can't repair everything. So I'm going to take the front end off now. And the reason why I'm going to do the front end as well as having the back end off as well is because I've got to replace all the wheels. So that means I'd rather just do all them all in one big go. And then it comes down to like re-skimming the brakes and I can do that on the lathe. I have to have all the brakes in my hand to do all that all in one go as well. But then we can go from there. But it's the reason why I have to strip all this off is mainly just because everything at the front is... It looks scrapped. It looks like it's been through a blender and I think it's... It's almost like a justification that you really do need to work on this car a little bit because there's a lot of small things that build up to one big problem. The car being the big problem.
okay, so uh, minus the engine, we've taken everything off this car. I'm going to try and repair up as much as possible again. And then we've got to do some other stuff. Then I'll have a chat with you. But yeah, a lot of these jobs now come down to how much you can restore yourself before actually doing anything like buying new stuff. Got to be honest, it saves a lot of money, especially when you have to renovate a gearbox and the gearbox is a grand. And it's like, hey, if I just spend like 200 quid, I'm all good. Right, cool. So I think that's all of them. That is all of them. Now we need to balance them all. Okay, so that's all of those. Now we've got to put the springs in, so the wish... There you go, look. The double wishbone shock absorber. To me, that's a shock mount. It's all good, but, yeah. Wishbones, we're putting those back in. Joint, that one, that one, that one. All green, all good. And dabby doozy. Okie gokey. Right, so the first thing I'm going to stick back into this car, and I'm, this is my problem here. The crankshaft looks a little bit dodge. And we still haven't found the last two parts so I, I don't really want to put anything back until I found those last two and that's that's the worst part I'm gonna to have to take all this apart first unless it might just be an air filter air filter is pretty buggered one more part to go the air filter was the problem right okay um, um <laughs> what's gonna be broken in this car what is gonna be the worst thing possible that we gonna that we cannot take off Let's empty this. I think it might... Oh, I think it's the ECU. It's just popped in my head. It might be one of those things that we, when we scan through, it's like, hey, we should take this off. Right, let's take the brake servo off anyway, just in case. Is it? No. Oh, my God. 23%. <gasps> yes! We found it. We have found it. Oh, my God. I'm actually relieved now. You have no idea how relieved I am that it was the actual oil field. Following this, and it's all good, then we've found the problems that we had with the car, and that's all good. So, I'm going to run through all four, pa all four pages now with all the parts. We've got the air filter, the bottom suspension arms, the brake pads, the coil spring rear drive axle, the double wishbone shock absorber, both of those. Front shock absorber cap, both of those. And the front springs, both of those. We've got the front suspension cross member C, we definitely have to replace that. And the fuel filter, which I already replaced at the beginning of this video. Leaf spring, the, the leaf spring plates have to be replaced, the leaf spring u bolts have to be replaced, and the oil filter V8, and the rear shock absorber B both of those have to be done and the rear shock absorber caps have to be done as well then we're going into the rear sh the rear springs the rubber bushings that come out of the mounts the solid rear drive axles the solid axle control arms and the spring caps and will hub three they're back that's all back most of this car can be repaired i mean you don't have to repair it all you don't have to do what i've done but you know it's up to you so I'm going to whack all this back together now, and then we've got to move on to do one of the last tasks. Well, apart from like, apart from redo all the liquids in the car, um, we've literally just got to put the car on the tra the test track so we can redo. So thankfully, most of this is renovated, so we can actually like mess around with this. But I'm actually uh, I'm actually glad that we actually found the part. I, I I didn't really want to strip into the engine. I didn't want to go that deep into this, and I know you know that's got some jokes behind it as well. Double entendre, <laughs> but apart from that, um, yeah, we're doing all right. We've literally just got to put everything back on this car now and be happy. It was, it, I was this close to start stripping into the engine. I really was, and I don't, I didn't really want to, but I'm sort of glad I didn't start. And the reason why is because we found what we were looking for just on a whim of it could be this, or it could be that. But we're done. We find, we got it. It's all good.
all good so that's everything put back on the lower uh, well at uh, the front and at the back now all we got to do is basically just put back all the stuff that we took apart in the engine hoping that it wasn't going to be this that and the other which is fine because i was eliminating the problems as, as i was going through i'm sort of glad that as i said I've, I've said this a couple of times now already i'm glad we didn't have to go into that engine bay because oh that's not i need to take that off i i, I know the, the, so what one thing that i've i've been brought up on before is like why did you repair things that you didn't need to repair like th that's fine but this cover is um it's 40 something percent you know 42 percent so i need to i need to replace this and i don't expect anybody to ever go oh yeah it's it, you know it's fine I, i'll get caught up on it all the time and mainly it's because like, I have obsessive compulsive disorder bits and problems. Like things have to be done specific ways. If you've watched any of my play, uh, my Hydroneer games and all that sort of stuff, you'll see you'll see in my videos where like my brain it ticks and it wants to do certain things that has to be done before I can move on. And yeah, okay, it makes me a little bit of a weirdo, but it's all good, right? <laughs> it's just the way my brain's programmed. It just doesn't like doesn't like having mess I could have repaired it as well I didn't think I could repair this damn it Stash. right anyways let's get this back in we gotta put the the brake servo back in and then we gotta put the ECU back in which you know it's 48% it's right on that cusp we charge the battery back up so that's got enough in it in it, in it. now we need to fill all this up with liquids so we need to put all the liquids back in then we need to put this up on the test path hopefully I've replaced everything by now so we've put the entire car back together as you can see all new parts all restored parts I've spent a little while doing this and now here we go the last rundown before we go off and do the the wheel alignment air filter bottom suspension arm a brake pad brake pad coil spring rear drive axle where we got the du the double wishbone shock absorbers the front shock absorber caps and the front springs then we've got the front suspension cross member c the fuel feed to the left springs plates the left spring u bolts all four of them all the oil filter v8 the rear shock absorber b and another b rear shock absorber cap then we've got the rear shock then we've got the rear springs the rubber bushings for all the bits and pieces the solid rear drive axles the solid axle control arms the spring cap the spring cap and the wheel hub three that is everything and now we've got to move this over to the test path so we can do a wheel alignment now one other thing i'm probably going to have to do because i took all the headlights out at the beginning of this video without anyone really seeing um because i repaired all the body panels just because i wanted the extra xp more than anything um so i've repaired all the body panels so that means take it take out the headlights taking out the headlights means i'm probably have to do another alignment so it's nothing too bad it's all good though let's have a look yeah see it's always worth checking when you have to do it when you have to do a, a tire alignment yeah make sure you're doing this as well fantastic so this car should be completely done and we can get rid of it so we are done right okay guys it has been awesome to have you here wait until the next one if you guys are interested there should be another video coming very soon with the next story car if you have enjoyed these videos don't forget to hit the like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel if you have, if you do really want to help this channel out you can become a member now down underneath this video there's a little join button from there you pay this channel a, a couple of pound a month and you get to help feed two kids and i've got both of them and they're hungry so thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. I'll see you all in another one. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.